the deep talk with Mr. Henry. Welcome back. It is the deep talk. My name is Mr. Henry in Charlie and Mr. Chugozi. Just 2023. How does that? When I say that, does it give you like some goosebumps? Uh, <laughs> yes, because uh, <laughs> I think it's one of the worst, one of the busiest schedules I've ever had in my life has been this year. Um, Here in the U.S.? Yes. Yes. You have so a TV show. Did the U.S. tour. How did that go, by the way? Uh, it was really good. Mm. A really great reception. I think what I'm seeing is a whole new stock of like the Ugandan kids mm. that have grown up. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> trying to make contact with what's going on in Uganda. Mm. Um, I also had some come up to me after the show and be like, man, we can't believe that guys are flowing like this oh, yeah. back home. You mm. know, our idea of Ugandan music was strictly mm. just doomed. Beep, 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 beep. That, that's Chidongo, yeah? Yeah, they, mm. they, some of them were unaware that, yo, the, 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 the music gets like this as well you okay. know we also have hip-hop we also have soul we also have rock guys we also have you know the morris Curia soul mm. uh music we we i mean yeah they were unaware so it was really dope reintroducing them oh, yeah. to uganda music and being like yo you need to actually study up <laughs> you know and come back home even mm. um so it was nice to see that new generation of ugandan kids mm. and then also just to see the people walk in there i was like why are they 300 white people here <laughs> like okay. you know i mean we're getting love from them there's mm. like west africans mm. who came mm. you know guys who are still fans of when we used to make hits for the whole of africa oh, one yeah. and only they're oh, waiting yeah. for their katas mm. they're waiting for those songs the early ones Bugumungalo. Mm. Um, so it was nice to see that nigerian crowd as well oh yeah um it was dope man touring around so big shout outs you know scoop ent mm -hmm. you know big shout outs to my boy arnold you know for linking all of that up uh it was it was a beautiful thing and big shout out to my guys in boston the mean streets of boston as well that was oh, yeah. a crazy show there's people that have been here for a minute but uh when they come on stage to perform kids look at them as dinosaurs they don't even understand what they're singing yeah. but i've seen you uh recently we had a huge uh, event in Zina Festival. Yeah. You stepped on stage and kids went crazy. Crazy. That was... What, what, what do you think has, uh, has not made you a dinosaur? Even I, after 20 years? I think I'm a dinosaur. You know, but what? <laughs> because if you yeah. were, you wouldn't be related. But I'm not a Yeah, yeah. Um, I think for me, like I said, I never hate on the new thing. Mm. If there's a new flow, yeah. even in Raga, alien skin if there's something new that happens like i want to know about what makes that dope yeah yeah and you have a lot of people who come from my era who are just like ah, i don't know Rag <laughs> yeah, raga reggae me i'm just sticking with my you know mm. which is also cool mm -hmm. you're entitled to do that as a human yeah, being but yeah. for me i'm a futurist yeah. when i hear a new sound even though at first i might be like what is that but you touch it trap <laughs> Okay, what makes it dope? Mm. Then you hear the bass lights. Uh, uh, right in the sun in the dairy, I pull up a son of a ton of a surge. Uh, mm. Baby, look, talking like Tersh. You know, I'm a, like, yeah, you, yeah. you start to feel it, mm. what is making it dope. And then you use it as in your own style. Mm. So for me, I'm about learning from the youth. A lot of guys, they get to my age or they get to my status and they're like, you need to learn from me. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, okay. Yeah. But I also feel like I need to learn from, learn from the me. youth. Oh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, when, when you have that perspective, then I think you're able to keep a bit more present. Yeah. After the 20 years, what, what do you feel like has been your hardest moments in the career? I'd say... Things that almost swept you off your feet. <laughs> One, I have the ability, I know, right here, I have the ability to make... 10 Naudirangas followed by 10 in Jogeriza's back to back. But I love hip hop. So I don't know whether you can call it uh, the, the greatest challenge is my own putu, the, my own stubbornness. Mm. Because you want to be a hit maker, you want to cover all your bases. Oh, yeah. But at the same point in time, I want to do what I love. And, I, I, and, and the half of my fans move with me because of what I do for hip hop. You know, you know, I can walk into a, a radio station in Nigeria unannounced right now and they'll be like, hey, they'll welcome me. That kind of power, you get it from being a master at what you do. And what I do best is hip hop. So I think one of the biggest challenges for me was not just saying, hey, 
but let me just be a hit maker you know let's just get this money blah 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 hit 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 i wanted to give people real content mm. content. talk about my life in the in, in in rap talk about my thoughts compete whereas right now you can put me on a song with i don't care man drake jay-z whoever I'm going to stand my ground proudly as a Ugandan. Uganda, know that you have someone who can handle these people. <laughs> Actually, you have more than oh, one. Yeah. There's like for them, they, they think for those people yeah. to be handled, yeah. the verses have to be in Uganda. <laughs> yeah, 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 mm. yeah. And which is a beautiful thing as well. Yeah. You know, there are there are a lot of Uganda artists who can also hang mm. with the best of them. You know, but uh, yeah, even even in Luzungu, Uganda, we just know that we have artists yeah. who are on that level. They're on par with the biggest and best artists. It's just the opportunity that we haven't got. Oh yeah, um, and that's the thing. I also that was one of the big challenges as well was what is real. Because for me, people are now challenging me in hip hop. Hey, you need to do more hardcore hip hop. You know, respect the culture, dog. It's all about the culture, hip hop culture, 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 culture. They said this to me for seven years. I got pissed. Mm. I said, "You want culture? Let me nah, give you the culture." Nah, mm. nah, what did I? That's my culture. Yeah, <laughs> 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 that yeah. is my. That, I'm Lubuama. Yes. Before I was ever Navio, that yeah. is my culture. Um, and I also think there's a way for that to flourish. You know, you you saw in uh be in between at a Freema Awards. That's just one of the many awards that was nominated in. Best song, best writer, oh, yeah. best video, mm. um, artist of the year. In between, Tiwa Savage, yes. Davido, Wizkid, mm. all of those categories when it came out. Oh, yeah. That shows that our music is actually unique. We don't have to always do the raga stuff because mm. that's Jamaican music, Definitely. to be honest. We're, we've put our own spin on it, yes. Mm. But I think there's something to be said about Tr our true local cultural music and that is what inspired me to do my own TV show Navio X Project because I'm like there's something culturally that we haven't pulled to the surface yet so even though you know we do the tourist things in my show mm. at the end we do a collaboration with the guys on ground whether it's elders whether it's a troupe whether it's just a, a judge just sitting on a stone she sings the chorus we want to do something that's culturally real um, I, I, I've seen the power of that yeah, because when I get on stage, they didn't even know. They sonically never heard anything like it. Yeah, but I, yeah, but I knew. <laughs> 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 the, the yeah. like what is, what uh, we're loving it. Mm. We don't know what it is, but we feel that it's real. Mm. Um, so we need to study that as well. The other challenge would be, <sighs> this is bickering, this, this book competition, you know, the beef and. That's what I was getting at next. You know, there's a lot of shade that has been thrown at you. Yeah. Gundi agambe na vio ali pata ne wati. Yatesi manyo yo plan di kidi. Yeah. Has that landed in your ears? Yeah, of course, of course. Um, that that one for me is even funny. You know, uh, that one's even funny. But I feel like there's real, there's artists that really try pull each other down. You know, um, and you have to understand that when you're doing this as a job, you're doing it as a job to feed family. You know, there's a lot of young boys who come in the industry and they don't understand bills and school fees and whatnot. We do this to feed family. We do this to push our country forward. You know, some of us are really paying taxes out here. Like, you know, like this yeah. is a business. Uh, but guys are like, oh, we just want to anya singa. You know, who's, who's the better at this? I'm like, let the people decide. For me, my biggest, the, the biggest hurdle I ever had over everyone was, we might, I might go back and forth with you even. We'll talk a little bit. Eventually, the people will tell us what's up. Yeah. You know, people will be like, oh, Navio, you don't belong on that galaxy stage. He, Mr. Innocent himself was like, oh, at first he was like, are you a galaxy? Are you, are you a galaxy? <laughs> and I'm yeah. like, really? My own neighbor <laughs> <laughs> asking me such a question. Mm. Uh, but I'm like, okay, cool. I'll see you Saturday. I'll see you at the show. Yeah. You you tell me. Mm -hmm. You tell me. You know what I mean? And, and am I am I a galaxy? My God, it's like <laughs> ants had entered those kids. I, red ants. I like people were saying it got the biggest ovation at the place. Definitely. So for a dinosaur, it's not bad. You know what I mean? But like that's the thing. I just want to prove it through my music. Oh yeah. I'm gonna do me, whether or not people cheer, it's cool. You know what I mean? I'm gonna do me and do what I think is real, do what's right. And I let my work speak for itself. Let's talk about the people that have 
you know, thrown shade, beefed you, um, put some competition there. You talked about it now, which is First of all, how did you handle it as a person, seeing people like Gravity come out, make those reckless comments about you? I think for me, the funniest thing was uh, the people putting him up to it. Because, uh, yeah, uh, first of all, okay, you've, you've talked about my kids, you know what I mean? Um, and you talk about my parents on a song, and then you come on at a you know a conference when you're getting the same stuff, and you say, "If someone talks about my family, we're going to go to war." I'm but like, when okay. he did it first, it was all cool. I'm like, "Alright, it's cool." Then uh, the plan was to put the show on the same day as me, so that I change my date. And now it was you mean all those things were planned? They I were know, that's this this what this the team is telling me. Mm. I I don't know what's what, and I don't even care. But yeah. anyway, somehow let's say by mistake, our <laughs> I announced my date three months before, and then someone comes on the same date. I was supposed to move my date. I'm like, for who? For what? There's seven other shows at the same time. Mm. We had rugby in Kasese, rugby in Jinja. Mm. We had uh, the dance festival. We had the Nubian festival. Mm. We had Steps of Africa dance. Yeah. <laughs> we, had, we had the Gravity. We had the Navio. We had, uh, I don't know what other festival. Yeah. There's eight other shows. So I'm like, move move for who? This is, uh, Navio fans are going to come see Navio, and his fans are going to come see him. I'm like, who am I supposed to move for at this stage in my career? I think sometimes people get so blinded by that plant kid thing. You yeah, know? yeah. Or maybe I need to appear more at, at uh, you know, these fests so that people understand that music is extremely powerful. And I know what I've meant to the hearts of these kids. I'm here to inspire, you understand? And in the same way, they have inspired me. We have shared a common goal. Um, so I was supposed to move my date. Then after moving my date, the show was also supposed to bomb. How many people do I have? 200, 300? I don't know, I don't know how many. <laughs> but, uh, you know, they also thought, all right, we're just going to kill him with numbers. I'm like, why would you want a grown man with kids to fail? I hear you. Have you ever thought about that? I like, fundamentally, you. I would never wish yeah. you to fail at something you're doing. Definitely. So why would someone go out of their way to want me to fail? You know? Yeah. And then pass it off later, like, oh, yeah, no, I'm, we, I'm sure we're all going to get people when you're seeing the support coming my way. Mm. It's like, um, like, like, I, like you said, the first thing you said in the interview, you know my background in South Africa. Yeah. You know what I mean? And some of the artists and whatnot. I've been around real thugs. I've been around real Gs. I've been around this hip-hop thing. Um, and people always try and push you in a space and push yeah. you into a corner. Mm. Um, you know, uh, and, 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 and hope that you don't react. And at the end of the day, I literally, after 20 years, after 25 years, we'll see when the dust settles. I hope you're still here. Because I've been here 25 years, and I'm not regarded as the best artist, the best hip-hop artist in Uganda. But I'm regarded yeah. as the best hip-hop artist Definitely. in East Africa. I'm the most award-winning East African artist of all time in East Africa. So unless you're hot in Congo, Burundi, Rwanda, Kenya, if you're hot in Kampala, let's not even talk about it anymore. Like, I, like, best of luck to you. I'm actually done with my career. I'm, <laughs> I'm actually done. I'm like, eh? I'm done. <laughs> it's up to you to prove yourself. In my prime, I was working with Wizkid. Yes. I was working with Burner Boy. I was working with Isakodie. Yeah. I was working. I was, I was working with your heroes. Yes. You yeah. understand? In what their prime time. In, what have you done apart from collaborate with each other? Down here in the same town. Stop it. You're not doing stuff you you're not you're not doing stuff better than me or worse than me. But I'm just saying I, I don't want to compete anymore and talk about what I've done, where I've gone. Thirty five countries touring and representing Uganda in my kanzu, moreover. Yes. You know what I mean? Oh Tio. I hear you. That's what they hear. The first thing they hear <laughs> from me is, you know, UG stand up yeah. when I get on every single stage. So it's very difficult for me to even start to quantify. How, how I'm a loser to you. I write albums for American artists in Luzungu. Like, <laughs> I'm mm. just an OG. I'm an old man trying to, trying to feed his family. Oh, yeah. That's it. So, unless someone comes up to me straight in my face and says, Navio, you've done this to me. 
let us battle let us beef if it's not business i don't i don't want to you don't want it's to. done it's done already you know that's not you it's the deep talk <laughs> to chagenda that was deep <laughs> it's, just, it's just real it's just like yeah you know best of luck to you I hope you guys, uh, you know, can do something useful with the time that you've been allotted. Those are much taken. Wamba mlo za muli vanene nga temuna kola kolabo all over East Africa. Nga muzi kole dewa no? Temuina na kuogera. Stop it. No, no, no. I mean, I like the kolabo. I kolabo with people here also. Oh, yeah. But when they use that to compare. I know. You know, it's like, Navio, your songs are weak, your collabs are weak. I'm like, which collabs? The international ones? The local ones? The Kenyan ones, we hmm. like you, you. For me, there are categories. So, <laughs> we, you know what I mean. There's um, a Kenyan station I was listening to over the weekend, and they played. There's a song. Is it called Sunshine or something? It's a beautiful song. Um, you're with a female. Excuse me, I've forgotten the title. Yeah. I had never heard that song here. Yeah. It's a Sunday. I'm driving. I'm listening to a Kenyan station. Navio is playing a song that I a radio presenter don't know in Uganda. I was like, nah. <laughs> what is the meaning? This, this cannot be happening. And the way the presenter introduced the song, do you feel like Ugandans have received you the way they are supposed to? Because Navio, that Kenyan presenter introduced you like they were introducing Whiskey yeah. on a track. <laughs> I felt cheated. I passed and I was like, yeah. I work for a top radio. This is our guy. I've not played this song. I don't even know about it. And it sounds so good. Yeah. I'll send you the song. I'm going to sit down and look for it. Yeah. So how, how do you feel you've been received back at home compared to how you're doing on the international scene? Um, I mean, to be honest, like, if I was pushing on 100%, like I used to, I would be more affected by where my music goes to. For now, I'm, I just cater to mm. the fans that I have. You know, people are always like, oh, you don't put your songs in anymore for awards around the world, stuff like that. I'm like, it's cool, but I got to go watch my daughter play <laughs> on Saturday. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. It's, it's now grown man issues, you know. Um, and I, and I, the way I prioritize things, because I know what it means to miss those moments with my kids. I was a top level artist when my son and daughter were babies. And I'd go five months out of the country. That's, that's crazy. I'm not making that mistake again because I know that at the end of my life, I've already been the number one rapper in East Africa. But you only get the chance at trying to be a good father once. Once, yeah. <laughs> once that's done, that's mm. done. Mm. So um, I really want to be in a space where I'm free to pick and choose. And if I'm constantly trying to compete with David or Wizkid or whatever, which is what the young boys should be doing here, you know, can you imagine? I That's supposed I to be their competition. I cannot yeah. imagine back in 2005 saying to myself, ha ha, <laughs> Jimmy Katumba, I'm coming for you, baby. <laughs> you think you're hot? No. Mm. Oh, you're, you're done for. Well, why am I battling Kafero? Yeah. If you're battling Navio, your career is already done. You're done already if i'm your target your target should be chris brown mm. at the least banner boy yes i don't want to hear i don't want to hear about i'm battling navio what I'm, I'm i'm wearing a shirt that my wife made me on television you understand like this is this is <laughs> grown man business i'm sipping chai yes yes live yes. and direct guys mm. if you're battling me you doing something wrong it is the deep joke. I'm still with Navio. <laughs> we could go on and on and on and on. But thank you for the honesty. Uh, we really needed to clear that up. Let's talk about family a little bit, if you don't mind. A lot of people expected you to do the wedding a little bit earlier. Yeah. It came in when? 20, was it 2019? Yes. 2019, for some people, was a bit late. Yeah. With the exposure. Yeah. You're well traveled, man. You've seen it all. Yes. You can pick whichever flower you want. Why did it take you that long to tie the knot? Uh, one, the person who I wanted to tie the knot with, uh, we've been friends since she was 17 years old. Ooh. So we never had a relationship, but I've known her since then. You know, and I was 21 at the time or something. Mm -hmm. Um 
and I was just like, oh, hey, hey, you know, and she came back five years later and <laughs> grown up and then we knew each other from then. So for me, it's never been a thing about rushing. I knew who I wanted to be with and who I was going to end up with. So by the time she came back and moved to Uganda, you know, we were we were already together in our minds. Mm. You know, it's just it just took seven eight years <laughs> for us to say, "Hey, Munag." But I think two years earlier than that, we had done the Kwajula. Oh yeah, you oh, yeah. Know, we had we had got all of that out of the way. So for me, that's the most important thing. Mm. As, as Luwama, you know, that is the most important thing. You know, people who know my family know that we are the most <laughs> Uganda mm. adherent people out there. Mm. Um, so that was the most important thing to me. Um, yeah. doing that and then after that you know the wedding could come so we were supposed to do the wedding in sweden okay we did it 2019 and then we were supposed to uh come back and do one in uganda oh yeah the next year and mm. of course covid oh covid struck to. so mm. i'm glad at least we managed to get two weddings out of the way mm -hmm. but uh, for number three oh, <laughs> budget the budget constraints i know See we understand, we understand. Set up. how has that been on your career um being being um being a musician, and now a family man, a dad. Yeah. How heavy has that or light has it been on your career? Uh, a few hearts were broken. Uh, a know, few yeah. hearts. A few, really? A few. Navio, oh, a yes. few. Yes, just I feel like it's a school of hearts. One, one <laughs> or two hearts <laughs> were broken. But uh, as I get older, they're like, ah, let him go. <laughs> it's old anyway now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, when I was in shape, they was like, ah. Why? <laughs> Why? Yeah. No, no. Um, I think I think it, it, was, it was there was always support for it. Mm. You know, uh, a lot of people they hadn't heard about it until they saw that picture of me in a church. Um, and I think that's the only those are the only people who are taken back. Like he, he, you didn't go very flashy about it. You remember he, Bobby Wine's wedding, uh, chameleon? Uh, yeah. Where those guys <laughs> went? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where did you go flashy about? Um, I mean, also you, you need to understand the character, <laughs> the character of who you're with. She's a very per private person. You know, my, my wife is uh, intensely. Intensely. Personal. Yeah. Our relationship is our relationship. Um, so for that reason, she's wants to keep some things for us. Um, also, at the same point in time, it was a bargaining tool. I knew I'd have to do one big one in Uganda. Oh, yeah. So I was like, let's do the Swedish one, you know, with your friends also and family, people mm -hmm. that she grew up with on that side. Mm -hmm. And then we'll do my chaos <laughs> <laughs> in Uganda, you <laughs> know, and with the, bring the helicopters, the jets. And the <laughs> yeah. Um, so we always had that idea. But of course, we did the marriage in Sweden and then we, could, we, you know, we didn't get around to the Uganda. And because of the COVID one. But do yes. we, should we expect one? Should we expect no. Navio chaos? I Navio think, and Matilda. I think <laughs> Kwanjula, one wedding. I, I, I'm a, like, you know, I'm a humble man. Mm. So I think we'll keep it there for now. But I definitely want to do something big for like the 10 year. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Something just for us. So It is yeah. Galaxy TV. Thank you so much for watching the deep talk. I'm still with Navio. Abadeo, Emiya Kabidi, Wogata Ketani, Jacqueline Akata. That's Emiya Kavidi Muetano. So allow us end this one right here. But we shall show him again next week. Because there's a lot we would really love to know. What have been the greatest lessons? What are the enemies he has made in the industry and the friends? Maybe they have engineered is the deep talk. Deep Talk with Mr. Henry.